Beyonce, the global superstar and cultural icon, made a highly anticipated return to her hometown of Houston, Texas, on Friday evening to publicly support Vice President Kamala Harris at a pivotal presidential campaign rally. This event was more than just a gathering, it was a vibrant celebration of political engagement and community activism, marked by the presence of Beyonce and her former Destiny's Child bandmate, Kelly Rowland. Their participation highlighted the powerful role that artists can play in shaping the political landscape, particularly in moments of great societal significance. As the rally commenced, the atmosphere was electric, filled with a palpable sense of excitement and determination. The event began with a heartfelt introduction by Tina Knowles, Beyonce's mother who set the tone for what was to be an inspiring evening. With her roots deeply planted in Houston, Beyonce took to the stage, radiating confidence and passion as she addressed the audience. She is not only a celebrated entertainer, but also a devoted mother who cares deeply about the future of the next generation. Standing before a crowd of enthusiastic supporters, Beyonce delivered a powerful message, emphasizing her commitment to social justice and equality. We are at the precipice of an enormous shift, she stated, capturing the attention of everyone in attendance. In her speech, she made it clear that she was not merely there as a celebrity or a political figure, but as a mother concerned about the world in which her children will grow up. I'm not here as a celebrity. I'm not here as a politician. I'm here as a mother, a mother who cares about the world our children live in a world where we have the freedom to control our bodies, a world where we are not divided, regardless of our past, present, or future. Beyonce's poignant words resonated deeply with her audience, sparking a sense of urgency and unity among those present. She encouraged them to embrace their power as voters, reminding them then that they are all part of something much larger than themselves. We must vote, and we need you, she declared, her voice rising with conviction. The crowd erupted in applause, their excitement palpable as she continued to rally them to action. In a stirring call to arms, she proclaimed, let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big, loud Texas welcome to the next president of the United States, Kamala Harris. Following Beyonce's passionate address, Vice President Harris took the stage to deliver a compelling speech that focused on reproductive rights, a critical issue at the forefront of her campaign. The alignment between these two influential women, one a pop culture titan, and the other a seasoned political leader underscored the importance of solidarity in the fight for justice and equality. Their shared commitment to progressive values highlighted how music and activism can intersect to create meaningful change. Interestingly, prior to this event, there had been speculation regarding Beyonce's potential performance at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago back in August. Many fans were excited about the possibility of seeing her take the stage to support the Democratic cause. However, her longtime publicist, Yvette Noel Schur, later clarified to The Hollywood Reporter that the 32-time Grammy winner was never scheduled to appear at the convention, deflating rumors of a surprise performance. Despite this, Beyoncé's decision to actively support Vice President Harris demonstrated her commitment to the campaign and its values. In a particularly noteworthy show of solidarity, Beyoncé allowed the Vice President to use her song Freedom featuring Kendrick Lamar as her walkout music for campaign rallies. This choice signified a powerful endorsement of Harris and her policies, as the song's themes of liberation and empowerment resonate deeply within the context of the current political climate. It was reported that Harris' team reached out to Beyoncé's representatives to seek approval for the song's usage during her first official visit to the campaign's headquarters in Wilmington, Delaware. Despite her reputation for being selective about allowing her music to be used outside her own ventures, Beyoncé granted permission, signaling her strong support for the Democratic presidential nominee. Beyoncé's engagement in politics is not a new development. Throughout her career, she has consistently used her platform to advocate for social change and amplify important issues. Back in 2012, she publicly endorsed former President Barack Obama, further solidifying her status as an influential voice in the political arena. Her commitment to social justice was exemplified when she performed the national anthem at Obama's inauguration in 2013, a moment that underscored the intersection of her artistry and activism. In 2016, Beyoncé and her husband, Jay-Z, participated in a star-studded rally for former presidential nominee Hillary Clinton, further demonstrating her dedication to progressive causes. Their presence at the rally drew significant media attention and highlighted the role of celebrity influence in shaping public opinion and mobilizing voters. As the evening progressed, it became evident that Beyoncé's support for Harris is rooted in a broader vision for a more equitable and just society. Her call for unity and collective action is a reminder that each individual has a role to play in the democratic process. The urgency of her message, combined with her undeniable star power, serves as an inspiration for many to engage in civic duties and make their voices heard in the upcoming election.
In summary, Beyonce's return to Houston to endorse Vice President Kamala Harris was a significant moment in the intersection of music and politics, reflecting her long-standing commitment to social change and the empowerment of marginalized voices. Her powerful address about unity, freedom, and the importance of voting resonated deeply as the nation prepares for a crucial electoral season. Through her actions, Beyonce not only elevates the conversation around critical issues, but also encourages others to recognize the power of their voices and their votes in shaping the future. As she continues to use her platform for advocacy, her influence in the political landscape remains undeniable, illustrating how artists can affect real change in society.